May 13th, 2022, Cincinnati, Ohio. So my man KJ52 hit me up to do this event called Life Surge down in Cincinnati. We were supposed to come in the day before for sound check, but the sound check got switched around and we didn't have a sound check on that Friday night, so we were just gonna do it on Saturday. But I was still coming in town, so we had the day off on Friday. It's always nice to be able to have some dedicated time just to chill and to actually get some stuff done. I uh, just checked into the hotel, got another song to do, so I'm gonna try to knock out this verse real quick and also, uh, we got some planning to do for this year for uh, all the singles that want to try to come out, trying to put things on a on a calendar for this year to to be more consistent with releasing music. Now that we got a little team, um, I think we got the capacity to to up the uh, up the content. So yeah, love uh, love being able to come out here and connect. And we got here early, so we get to get some work done too. But another benefit of being able to travel and having a day off is connecting with some friends you haven't seen in a long time. And when I started Ox and Apparel, I had another good friend of mine, D-Mob, that started a clothing brand called Good Company Apparel down in Cincinnati. So I figured if I had the day off, I'd go down to the mall and check out his kiosk and see what he had going on. Man, I can talk to you all day, bro, about taking chances and Let's let's brown. I just did a TikTok, so I've been on TikTok. I've been on my TikTok game, yeah, real heavy, I'm right? Saying, I'm okay, saying. so I just started really. And God said, you know, use that to encourage, to encourage people. Do your little videos, and I, I, I used to watch Willie Moore Jr. videos. Right. I, I was like, I love that style. When you're on your deathbed, normally it's your family and friends around you praying for you, right? He said, but what if it wasn't your family and friends? What if it was all your goals and dreams? standing around you and said, we about to die with you. You never pursued none of us. We was here for you. I love it. I'm going after I love it, bro. I'm you inspire me to go after stuff, Listen, man. So talking to my man D-Mob is like talking to a motivational speaker. I'm always inspired by getting a chance to hang out and, and chill with him for just a second. And like, it made me want to leave the mall and actually just get to work and work like 24 seven just to, to do half the stuff that he was doing. So shout out to D-Mob and Good Company Apparel. Like if you really want to get motivated, talk to this guy. After we left the mall, we came back to the hotel and KJ finally arrived. He always gets in like late the night before and as soon as uh, the show is over, he like he jets back home. But instead of just like hiding out in the hotel room, we went down to the lobby and had some dinner and caught up on some old times. For years, the highest caliber of DJs. Oh yeah. <laughs> guys that spend their whole lives working on their craft just to be great DJs. We're in front of 10,000 people, big old giant business event. So, oh man, I couldn't get more this time. Oh man, I couldn't get, couldn't get promote this time. Oh man, I couldn't get Aslan this time. <laughs> hey George, what are you gonna do? Did you, you want to come out? Just, just pretend. <laughs> Oh yeah, man, no problem. I'll bring a record. A record player. A record player. Not a record DJ setup. An actual record, record player. player. Like, you have in your, in your living room. I have All a right. Roberta Flack record. I got one record. It's a Roberta Flack record. <laughs> Sound guys keep coming up to me like, hey, so like, how are we supposed to plug this in? <laughs> like, don't plug it in. You sure? And they still plug it in. You remember this? I remember. I remember. George forgets to, to turn off the volume. I didn't know how to stop the needle. You didn't know how to stop the needle. <laughs> I'm running in a circle. <laughs> it's in the sound. I can hear Roberta Flack. <laughs> I was like, we're done, I'm over. I was like, I remember thinking, I'm over, I'm done. They're gonna find me out, I'm a fake, I'm a fraud. DJ ain't even a DJ. We walk off the stage, I'm my head is hanging low. I don't wanna talk to nobody, I don't wanna see nobody. He's backstage, all of a sudden, he suddenly pulled George aside, I'm like, dang it, it's done. George comes in, I said, who was that? Oh man, they just offered me a residency at Club LA. It's funny, when I first got started with KJ, like I was so excited to just to be on the road and. I would just have smiles from ear to ear just being out on the road. And now it's like after all these years, after hundreds and hundreds of shows, traveling all over the world, it's like we're two old dogs just sitting around and reminiscing on old times. So every time we get together, I feel like the puppy still, but I also feel like an old man because all we do is talk about old war stories. So this morning we are going to um, an event called Life Surge. Uh, it's gonna be really big uh, business event. 
I'm on here with KJ52. He always hooks me up with like really cool events like this. So we get a chance to literally do like a 10 minute giveaway at lunchtime. But uh, I'm gonna go out there and actually listen to all the different speakers. Nick, um, I always have a tough time saying the last name, Dvojacic, Nick. Nick N is what we call him in the streets. And um, uh, Priscilla, uh, I forgot her last name too. Like, it's too early in the morning for me to actually think. But anyway, I think the driver is here. So, well, there's KJ right there. He just came back from his morning run. Um, we do, we already did the workout this morning. He's uh, he just running. So I think this might be the driver. So we'll see. Yo, this guy's out. That's out. So every time I'm a part of big events like this, I kind of just pinch myself to say, man, how do I even belong with this caliber of people? They had uh, Priscilla Shire was on the event, Nick Vujicic. I really hope, um, bro, I really am sorry if I can't say the name right, but it's just like, you got consonants and vowels. And anyway, we'll write the name on there, put a little picture right here. And Taya was there, a whole bunch of speakers. And probably one of my favorite speakers slash teachers I get a chance to hear is Myron Gordon, the dude is, like he knows scripture and he knows business like nobody else. So I just sit there and listen to him all day. Like I wish he was my dad or my uncle and like I could just call and hang out with him sometimes. So Myron, if you watching bro, give me a give call. Me a call. Let's, let's go fishing. Go fishing. <laughs> when I first set out to be like an artist, I thought that I would be touring and doing concerts and you know, I'd have fans and stuff like that. But in actuality, a lot of things we do have nothing to do with my own music. It's just getting up there and being a part of big events and kind of just like hosting this dance party. You find yourself in some different situations than what you would expect, but it's a whole lot of fun to be able to just make a whole bunch of business people dance to win a meet and greet. I love being able to do what I do. and I find myself in a lot of different situations that you wouldn't expect just by being an artist. But if there's something that you want to see that we didn't capture in a vlog like this and you want to see more of it, leave me a comment down below and make sure you subscribe to get more content like this. I'll see y'all later. Peace.